Hi, so today I'd like to talk about Allegretto in E minor by Johann Wilhelm Hessler. This is a uh, list A, uh, so Baroque era section of selection of piece in the RCM Celebration Series 6th edition for level 4. And I like this piece because uh, although it is minor, it's kind of very playful in terms of articulation. In Baroque music, you don't traditionally get much indication on um, articulation, so it gives you a little bit of freedom. However, here you do have the occasional little slur here and then from this, this edition, and sometimes you can compare with different editions, you get more information, but I think this is enough to give us the flair or, or the spirit, which is so I personally took a pencil and extrapolated those legato staccato little annotations and making taking some decisions uh, as per where will I play staccato instead of legato just to switch it around. Uh, we have this polyphonic um, dialogue between right hand and left hand which is interesting because in piano, you know, you're never supposed to repeat something exactly the same as you said it the first time. So perhaps you can say something forte the first time, you'll say piano at the same time, so it's never exactly the same. There's this general rule in piano never to repeat something exactly the same. So that, I think, also applies to um, articulation, where if the right hand says a little phrase, and even though the left hand says it with a bit of variation, you can also add a little bit of extra variation in the in the um, articulation as well. So if the right hand will play a phrase legato, maybe the left hand can repeat it, but staccato and just have fun with it, uh, converge into both legato and then switch switch the roles, and which if if it's fun. Uh, the form is in uh, ternary, so we have section A, section B, and section C. Sec uh, section A, B, and A prime, pardon me. So A is from 1 to measure 10. From 11 to 14, you have your section B, and then section A prime from measure 15 to the end. Uh, in terms of harmony, I'd I like to say that transitioning between sections, you have a little bit of an uh, interesting shift in or something that's um, noticeable that's happening in the middle, in the harmony. For instance, the piece is in E minor, and you could argue whether it is in natural minor or melodic minor. I think it's melodic minor, but you don't get to hear it out throughout the piece much at all. Uh, the piece sounds like natural minor all the way, and except from in measure 13 and 14, where you do have and then right, so let's just pause one second and talk about this. Um, your E minor natural in classical music is melodic on the way up and natural on the way down. So ascending, you will have a flat three and then major. So natural sixth, natural seventh, and but on the way down you'll have flat seven, flat six, and then flat three. So it sounds like this, which is not the same. Did you hear that? And if it was natural, it just sounds like this. That's it. So uh, here our melodic motif is mostly it keeps us descending so it keeps going down so that's why i think we don't get a much of a chance to hear the melodic uh, in the melodic um, minor except from those the measure 13 and 14. and just have a slight word you're gonna say yeah but measure 13 you have which is a descending right because you have however i i would say this is more of an enclosure around a repeating E, which count as stagnating, so neutral, neither descending or ascending. And because we're transitioning into that measure 14, we have this beautiful uh, to take us back to A prime, like to buckle up the dupe uh, with the theme. Uh, I think, yeah, this is why the composer took the decision to have this apex uh, intensity in melodic minor. Right, uh, measure
measure 9 and 10, you have... Mm, that's G major, which is not the relative major from the E minor melody. It would be a relative major of E natural minor. Uh, so that's funny. Uh, that I think it adds to the playfulness of this piece because it's like, oh, okay. Uh, this um, little shift in natural G major, in G major, goes throughout 11 and 12 too. Measure 11 and 12 too. The, the end ca cadence, uh, here, right here, it's kind of fun to play too. So I'm just going to play... I'm just going to play it, see how it goes, and just to give you an idea. this is and yeah hopefully you enjoy that if you'd like to see more analysis or more discussion around a piece in the future let me know and yeah i think it's fun take care bye